Hi my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deanna and I am a planner mom, I guess, um, living in the beautiful, currently very snowy and cold state of Maine. Um, this is, I believe, my first video back after Vlogmas. Um, so I, I might have had another video, I can't remember. Uh, but anyway, it's one of the first um, since the whole Vlogmas. And um, so I just wanted to say hi. And I've got some new subscribers. So welcome if you're new here. Um, thank you so much for subscribing. And to all of you who have been here for, you know, this last several months um, and last year with me. Thank you so much for being here with me and for coming back for another video. Um, I've had a lot of interactions with you on Instagram. Uh, my name is Main Mama Plans on there, and that has been so amazing. I really love getting to talk to all of you and having you comment and um, all the little posts and new subscribers and followers I have over there. So if I'm not active on Instagram, I mean on YouTube for a week or a couple days or whatever, it's usually because something's going on and I will always post to my Instagram stories. Um, I'm gonna try to get better at using the community tab here on YouTube, but typically I'm <clears throat> always updating on Instagram. So if you're ever curious what's going on or you wanna send me a message about a planner that you see that I had mentioned was for sale or maybe that you like or something, just always um, message me there. Probably have a few more coffee sips during today's filming because I am finally getting my voice somewhat back. Um, probably sounds a lot better than the last time you heard me. Or if you didn't see that video, then I probably sound the same, I don't know. Uh, but I was sick and have been sick. I think it was the flu, we're not sure. Um, but it was literally about two weeks straight and um, I got it first, had it the longest, then my oldest got it, then my youngest got it, and we thought that my husband was going to skip it um, because I was starting to feel better, and then he started coming down with the symptoms, so now he's sick, and so it's just been a whole thing. We've been under the weather for the last few weeks, and it's kind of thrown everything off, but I've taken that time to try to get into my planner and make some adjustments, some changes, um, print some of the pieces that I needed um, that I was using in my personal size rings um, that I wanted to migrate over to Franklin Covey Compact. And I'm still working on it. Um, I'm not looking for perfection, I'm looking for progress. So. I have a list of things that I want to add and I'm always watching videos, of course, and, and using my planner and so new things will come up. Um, and so I thought that it would be a good time to do a flip, an updated flip. So that's what this is going to be. And then after I will do a plan with me. So I'll give you guys a couple videos because I know you would ask for an updated flip on my last video. So I'm going to do that for you first. And then it will make sense when I get into my plan with me. So I am still in my beautiful squishy VDS um, cover. And this is a personal or standard 25 millimeter with 30 millimeter rings, I think. Um, and the cover or color, Jeanette, Janet Leather Brown with Poussiere interior. Um, it's very soft. If you can kind of see, it's a, it's squishy. I love the foam. I had ordered a Moterm in the forest color and when I got it, I moved into it and I missed the squish. So now that I've got the squishiness of the VDS, when I do a custom, I'm definitely gonna get extra foam because, oh, I just, I just love the squish to it. It just has me coming back and I can't stay away. So let me get you situated and make sure you can see here in frame. <clears throat> okay, a um, couple things have changed since the last time you saw it in here. I took the fly leaf, which um, 
is great, but I put it on this inside secretarial flap because I just need more room. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to those of you who have left comments and sent messages about options for upgrading the rings or things that I can do. And I've, t I've taken all of your suggestions and put them into my notes um, so that when I order or if I decide to play around with the ring size, I can take that into consideration. I might have it um, lengthened 13 millimeters in my custom to accommodate for the extra space and then ask if she could put in bigger rings. I will talk to Petra at Vanderspeck about that and we'll kind of see how that process evolves. Um, not necessarily rushing to do anything right now um, because I just want to really enjoy what I have and functionally use it so that I know exactly what I need. So I just want to kind of have my setup in place. I want to establish my system and commit to it before I commit to basically customizing an expensive planner. Um, because there's no point if I'm already, if I'm just going to switch. And I know that part of the, you know, planning is to kind of change things up and switch things around and all of that. And I do love to do that. Um, I need to keep, I need to develop my system in a way that makes sense so that my customization makes sense. So those are all things I'm thinking about. <clears throat> a little bit of a backstory, longest intro ever, sorry. But I say that all to say that some things have kind of changed in here. I moved around the fly leaf. I took it out of the front and put it in the side where my extra little pen loop is or pen is right now. Um, I got these for, I'm doing the, um, heart dive Bible study this year, I'm trying. Um, and Kanoe, I think is her name, and she is leading that Bible study and she was talking about these pens in the Bible. And so I was writing with them. I love the gel, it smears, but um, I switched it out for pink ink and um, kind of going with a little bit of like a pink um, phase right now, trying to make my planner fun and more interesting to me. And I'm um, gonna have some, I'm working on a color coding like key basically for different colors, for different things, different highlighters, symbols. I'm, I'm experimenting and trying to develop that. So that is in there. I have this little guy. I don't know where it's from. Um, I wanna say planner room shop, but I'm not sure. And then I have band-aids and a few business cards in that secretarial back there. Um, in the pocket here, I have a piece of glittery like um, scrapbook paper and then a few miscellaneous stickers and my library card. Got these. Um, this is from Tadeau Papel and this is from who knows where, but if you look up like coffee magnet um, and it's kind of like those diptyque candle style designs on Etsy. You could probably find it. Um, and then I have my task cards that I got a while ago from Maddie Plans. I'm trying to implement them and use them more. I was going to update these because now I have more than one kid and it just says Watson. Uh, but my label maker died. So I'm in the market. I'm going to have to get myself a new label maker. Um, then I have these um, in case of emergency contact cards down here. And I think these are plain with B freebies that I just printed and laminated um, and then planner belongs to. And then this is a um, sticky pad for tasks um, from Peanuts Planner Co. And I just have this in the front. Um, I was trying out using one of these for trackers in my weekly uh, section. And so I've got those extra right there. <clears throat> Moving into the planner, you can see from the top, I don't, I have a couple of page finders, but I don't have any tabs on the top right now. Let me move, this is just my friction clickable. Um, Pilot, friction, pen, erasable, and it's 0.5 black. Anyway, if you're asking, curious, this is just my little charm that I clipped down here that I had made. Um, let me get you back. So these are my current tabs.
tabs, um, the tabs that I have set up. I have six, I believe, and then my monthly. So inbox schedule, and then January through December. And then I have kids, lists, home, and work. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And um, that's all I have for tabs. I do have a back pocket here. And for now, I have um, this vomit <laughs> sickness protocol that I got from uh, the doctor that's very very helpful and then I'm also keeping back here some of my used up um, weekly inserts so that I can look back on them if I need to um, and then I just have an extra pocket uh, I didn't want to archive these yet because they had a little bit of information and I know I was going to need to reference that so um so that is there let me get a drink I could Okay, guys. Um, the other thing in my other pen loop is my Zig color dot. I love these color dots. This is in the color 408 Pale Moss. And these are awesome for my tracking and to-do lists. In the back, I have one of these Erin Condren trackers um, from an old Erin Condren planner that I just ripped the stickers out of. My mom's little tatted bookmark and just a clear card um, for cutting washi if I need it, which I usually don't. So, you know, I have an extra sticky note here covering up a picture of my little kiddos in the bathtub. Uh, but this is, I think from, uh, yeah, this is from Franklin Planner, uh, Franklin Covey, whatever, online. And I have some just pictures in there. This was an old dashboard from my Hobonichi Weeks and I just put it on my inbox tab. A couple of miscellaneous to do uh, sticky notes if I need them. These are my dashboards. I'm working on finalizing these, or I'm sorry, dashboards? No, section covers. Um, you could use them as a dashboard if you printed and laminated, um, but I'm trying to keep it thin because I'm a stuffer. <laughs> so I'm not using it as a dashboard necessarily, but as a, a section cover. Um, and this was one of the ones that I was experimenting with. So, um, the dimensions are still still playing with the margins. Um, but these will be up in my shop soon. Um, this is in the inbox section. So the first piece here, um, the front is to do, and then the, I just have a little quote. Um, and then this is from my minimal planner. This is important information uh, insert. And so I'm just kind of using this as <clears throat> like an inbox currently. And then I have my add to planner section. This is always evolving when I'm uh, taking notes here, if I'm watching people's videos or if I'm thinking of something that I wanna add or if I'm like thinking that I might need to change something or a specific insert is mentioned, I'll try to put that here. Um, and then I went through my personal rings and I wrote down exactly every single insert that I had in there so that I could come through and check and see um, if I want, if that's something, I think I'm gonna highlight the ones that I still need to print at this point, um, if I still wanna print them. So I have that list here. Um, and then I've watched some other planner videos and I like to get inspiration from others. One of my favorite, um, some of my favorite planner videos and people who have really organized setups. Um, so I'll just take notes. And then this is one of my old inserts from my Christmas bundle for personal size. And then my custom considerations. Um, I had another page that I have to put in here. Um, just miscellaneous notes. And I was feeling um, inspired or like I wanted to kind of dial in some of the things I want to do this year. And I don't particularly um, support or believe <laughs> that resolutions work, but I do believe in a yearly reset and that it's very important to constantly take like personal inventory. And so the new year is obviously a good time to do that, but I also do it kind of quarterly. Um, and so for my Q1, this is kind of what I'm thinking of for the year. And this is using that little dot marker if you can see um and I just wrote down a couple of the things that I'd like to do this year uh hopefully there's nothing too personal on there I'm not sure um but I feel like you guys are my friends so you won't judge me right 
Uh, this is just a couple of note pages from for real plans that I had in the personal size and I just printed on here. Um, I just have a little separator in that section. So if I need to take a quick note, I put this little um, page flag that I just, it was like a post-it page flag and I just cut, uh, ugh, I can't even talk today, cut it down to fit on one of my bottom tabs so that when I quickly need to open my planner and take a note, it comes here and I have some plain paper. Next, we get into my schedule section. And I have a um, pocket from Franklin Planner. If you have a question about where anything is from, as always, just leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. Now that I'm not on my deathbed with the flu, I will be replying to comments quicker. Usually I'm really good at trying to get back to you right away. Um, but you know, I'm human. So for my yearly calendar, um, I'm going with the Franklin Covey Blooms. And um, I haven't filled this out yet. But I like, I like it. I like the colors. I think it's pretty. So I'm um, going to try that out this year. I designed weeklies and dailies for myself this year, so I figured I would cave and buy some um, other ones. I'm trying to see what's going on. Okay. Like, what is rubbing right there? So I decided on blooms. This is my perpetual calendar with everybody's birthdays and whatnot. Um, which I think was from Hey Planner Girl, could be Plan With B, I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, this is my, this is my design. It's just a 2024 holidays list. Uh, it comes as part of my yearly bundle on my Etsy shop. It's pretty cheap. Um, and then I also just have this yearly overview from Haru Plans, one of my favorite shops. And this is my old kind of monthly um, dashboard from my personal size, but I just love it. I loved the font and I thought it was so cute and some pictures of me and my hubs and family and whatnot. So, um, I'm working on this section and exactly how I want to use it on the front. Um, but I'm enjoying having the lines on here for my, um, monthly view uh, because I'm a slant writer. Like if I have this whole box, I'll just write slant it and take it up inefficiently. So having these are helpful. Um, and on the back of each month, I am following my Moxie dreams because if you're not, what are you doing? You need to, she's incredible. I'll put her in the link below. And she was talking about how she utilizes this section. She was inspired by somebody else who is also amazing because this community is full of incredible people. And talking about how to use this as basically your master task list and use it as such. And so I'm trying to um, make sure that I'm really doing that. And it's very helpful because a lot of the time I will just throw things into the brain dump, but then I don't come back and actually assign them to a date and it's just kind of like, oh, I forgot about that. Um, so having it on here in the monthly view, when I'm doing my monthly and weekly planning, I will come back and look and say, okay, did I do that this month? These are, excuse me, these are things I need to do this month. If I didn't do them, then um, she was talking about how you highlight them and then you put them into the next month um, at the end of the month. So it's giving you a little bit more of a time sensitivity around those things to remind you to get them done. So it's not just sitting in an arbitrary list or in some other place that's easy to forget. Um, and so I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to, and for me, I do have business tasks. So I'm just using those um, to personal and business. And that's helpful. That's, that's working for me. I'm enjoying that. Um, and I find, you know, it's just my first month, but as you can see, I'm going to probably have to tip in another page um, like she does because I definitely see myself going over the allotted space. Um, so 
uh, within this now, since I'm still in January, I'm trying to have my weeklies in here um, so that when I'm in January, I look at the month, then I flip, and then I'm into my week. And so I'm updating and working these a little bit. Um, but this is my current weekly layout. And I think this is kind of where I've settled and what I'm happy with right now. And I'm just playing with different icons um, every week that make me happy, but um, I'll probably list them without the icons or with the icons, or I'm, I'm definitely gonna get it undated up this week um, for you guys in this size, um, <clears throat> because I've had several people ask me for it. So I'll get that up for you, I will. Uh, but I'm. it's gonna take a long time to get the whole entire year dated and put up in between homeschooling and working and <laughs> momming and all the things, but I promise I will get it up. Um, and I'm at least going to get the undated for you so that you can go in. I'll do one like January, February. I'll do like the monthly written out and then you can just go in and fill. It'll be Monday through Sunday listed and then you can just write in the numbers. If that works for you, then I'll do that. Sorry. <clears throat> so this is kind of how I'm using that pink pen just to highlight you know a couple of the things that need to draw my attention um like chris was off and then assigning and now he's sick again but i'll wait i'll do the plan with me i'll do it during that um and then just kind of keeping track i made these lines a little bit bigger for my schedule things um things that are time sensitive and then my weekly priorities and i'm leaving this as a blank box so that i can put in whatever i want if i want to put a little picture for my canon ivy in there I might expand if I find myself doing that then I might expand this box to fit it perfectly um, but otherwise I'm just like maybe I want a little quote there or maybe I just have a quick note like call somebody and I want it to get my attention it might be a bible verse it could be a quote for the week um, it may be something you know um, like for memory keeping or tracking um, but so far I've got my weekly priorities over here with those um, task card from Maddie Plans um, flags here. And then on this side, I have my running shopping list. And then this is what I'm trying to kind of incorporate those monthly tasks. So as I was showing, if I'm coming through here and I'm looking at this at the beginning of the week and thinking like, okay, what from here can I take and get on my calendar for the week? So my idea is to kind of take a few of those items and put them in here. I may end up, you know, removing some of these lines and just having three or four. Um, I may add more lines and, and add more if I find I need more, but that's kind of my thought behind that. And then just errands that I need to do for the week that are not day specific. So a lot of the times I'll just be like, I need to grocery shop, but the day I do it doesn't necessarily have to be set in stone. So errands or things that need to get done will go here. Um, and then I have several, so I have several weeks. Um, the back is my cash budget register, which we're setting up. I've got, I finally got my husband to sit down. We're going to sit down together once he feels better and set up our budget. Um, and get serious about that. So I've got January's in here. Um, yeah, and see this one, I just put a little quote in and it's a little polka dot bow. Okay, and so then we get to February, right? So then I've got my February in here. I need to put in something. I'll figure that out for my plan with me. Um, and then we get into my February weeklies, um, which are just hearts. Um, for the week of Valentine's Day, I put I made the theme like pink and red um, to make it a little more fun and festive with some little pink mugs. Um, but otherwise, I just kind of have it plain with the little bow and a little icon for the month. And then we go into this is a blank month. So this is March and I don't have my um, inserts printed and put in here yet, but we go all the way to December. And then behind that, I have a year at a glance again from my bundle and future plans that I made. 
and then just a little divider with a clear tab, which I'll get a sticker on here. And after all of my monthlies are my dailies. Um, I didn't want to bulk up the months and weeks too much because I still want to be able to swipe through pretty quickly if I need to. And so dailies at the back, I think are going to work for me. So again, I made my little section cover and this is my quick, um, page finder for, it says today on it. And so, <clears throat> um, this is my day on one page uh, daily spread that I have designed and that I'm using. It's loosely based or uh, <laughs> hardly based. I don't know how you say it. It's very much based off of and inspired by Franklin Covey uh, day on one page, um, which I don't see that they have for the compact size, which annoys me. I don't completely need two pages right now because my planner is so bulky. If I didn't have so much in here, I think I could get away with the two day on two page like Franklin Covey tends to do. Um, but with my planner being so thick already, I just can't afford the real estate. And so I reworked it slightly. And um, this is kind of what is working for me. I have the date at the top, Monday, and then the week. So 15th of January, 2024, Monday, week three. And so I update that. I have the month overview and then next month overview. And then if there's a holiday, it goes here. If there's no holiday, like, like here, it's just blank. Um, and then I have the key. So the key for the prioritized task list. And somebody had requested that I do a whole video on the Franklin Covey kind of planning system, and I will do that. That is a massive uh, informative video. So that's on my list, and I'm, I'm starting to kind of web map that out right now because I wanna make sure that I do a good job. Oh, hold on, whoops, I lost my weekly. Um, I wanna make sure that I get that correct and don't like give you any misinformation or anything and it was like essentially all the information I learned came from watching the seminar um that was like three videos and the first one was an hour the second one was an hour and the last one was 30 minutes uh, where they talked about the full overview of the Franklin Covey planner system and how to um time manage effectively and all of that so <clears throat> that would be um, a big video and I will absolutely do that. I heard you loud and clear. I'm definitely going to do it. I just need to make sure that I'm really giving the right information um, to make it helpful for you. Um, so I'm trying to kind of pull that together and I will have that on the docket coming up soon. This is just my page um, finder. I've had so many people request that I make these and I would feel terrible. They, mine is all jagged and, and not up to uh, the standard that I would wanna sell to anyone. So until I can perfect that, um, I'm sure you can find some type for Alexa, I know makes them. Um, I know there's some other incredible creators on Etsy that make, you know, the transparent kind of page finders and things. Um, this one I just made for myself. And I have a YouTube short, you know, quickly showing how I did it in Canva. Um, but anyway, I also have a few of my page flags on here. And this is how I'm using my weeklies. So let me zoom slightly in, backtrack for just a second. Um, this is that sticky from Peanuts Planner Co. over there um, that you saw on the front. And then this is just some of my miscellaneous trackers. And these change um, throughout the week. So I don't necessarily want to have a whole space here. And there's some weeks that I don't want to track anything um, because I just don't. <laughs> so uh, that's why the sticky is kind of working for me right now. Um, I'm not somebody that tracks my water intake every day. Um, I don't drink enough water. I drink coffee and Diet Coke because um, I have kids. <laughs> and they are very, very hyper high maintenance little boys that I love very much, but um, water is not cutting it. So there's water in my coffee. Do you see? There's ice. So I don't track water, um, but you know, you could, <laughs> you could use that here if you wanted. Uh, but this is how I use them. And it's for things like medicine, you know, um, I have 
sciatic issues with my back. I have a really bad back um, from, you know, years of heavy sports as a kid and um, all through high school. So um, trying to work on a pain management protocol. So if I can go a day without taking Tylenol, uh, that would be good information to give to my pain management doctor. Um, but, you know, opening my planner, using my planner, and then the next are for my son, he's autistic, um, and he is a very, very picky eater, so we're struggling. I'm trying to keep track of if he ate dinner, if he ate lunch, if he ate breakfast. Um, and if he did eat it that day, then I put in the notes, you know, what we had on my meal plan so that I'm like, okay, he ate it. That's a good food for this week. Um, if you know, you know, uh, Bible study, skincare, shower, hair and makeup and dressed for the day. These are big goals for me. Um, if you struggle with depression, you would understand why that's written on there. Um, getting personal, but I definitely have struggled with that through, over the years. I had very bad uh, postpartum with both of my boys and, um, Something that I struggle with is, and I'm sure all of us do, especially as moms, but just people in general, is sometimes putting ourselves first. And so I'm really trying to put that on here as a reminder to maybe get out of my like bedtime pajamas and put on some daytime pajamas if I'm not leaving the house and I want to be comfortable, like yoga pants or, you know, like a bra, but you know, anyway. Um, and then I have on here if I had any general notary appointments or loan signing appointments for work, a self-care task, which for me lately is watching a planner video or ASMR or doing like a face mask or something like that, and then put the kitchen to bed. I'm trying to do that every single night so I can stay on top of it. Um, so back to my dailies. The way that I'm doing that is up here we have our key, right? And this is part of that Franklin Covey system. The check marks for completed, deleted, in progress, rescheduled, or delegated. So the whole idea is you pick your tasks, things that you wanna get done, you take five to 10 minutes, this is a quick and dirty version, five to 10 minutes a day in the morning or the night before, you list out all of the things that you need to get done or wanna get done or would like to get done or have to get done, put them all down and then you prioritize them in order of importance. So A, B, and C, okay? A is needs to happen, which would be there's a consequence if, if, if it doesn't happen. So like an A task could be go to work, right? There's a consequence if you don't go to work. B task is should happen. So you should maybe like um, do Sam's groceries for me. It was like, I should get groceries, but I do have enough to get to the next day. So if I don't get to it, it's okay, right? C is like, could do it. So it's like, if I got everything else done, I could do the therapy notes, but it can wait till tomorrow or the next day even. So then you number them in order of getting them done. So A1, it was at 8 a.m. that I had his appointment, so that was my top task. It was like I had to go, right? There would be consequences if I didn't, and it was the first thing I was doing um, in the morning, so that was A1, and then I checked it off when I did it. Um, and then in progress was like I had started to kind of set it up. That's my dot for in progress. I did complete that, and then I did put the kitchen to bed, and I did prep Watson's lessons for the day, so that's my day. And then I put a little arrow for therapy notes because I didn't get to it. And then down here is my notes section. If I talk to somebody, if I hear from someone, if I um, have a recipe or something that pops up that I wanna keep track of, I could put that here. Could also use it for tracking things at the bottom. And then my schedule is on this side. And I don't have a whole lot specifically um, to put here. So that's why for me, I prioritize this size, but you know, um, this is just what works for me. And I track from 8 to 9 p.m., 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And I have little lines in between each one for 30-minute um, increments. And then this would be anything before 8. This would be anything after 9. And then every Monday is the little lavender. Um, and I made these to be like floral. So the day of the week determines the little flower. So that's kind of my 
um, my design for those. And then they just kind of go through and this is an empty spread, obviously. Um, I didn't plan anything yesterday because I was just going. I was gone all day. And then when I got home, Chris was sick and there was just a lot going on. So those are my dailies. And then we get to my kids section. And here I have a list of non-stimulating shows and a pocket. Um, this is where I'm just keeping some of the business cards for Graham's therapies. I have a monthly health recap. I'm just trying to preview some of these things. Um, and then this is just information resources. And then we get into my, um, that's a medication list. And then I get into Watson. Um, and this is his section. And then in here I have a yearly fold out that I just got um, that from Franklin Covey. And this is gonna be to track all of his school days for the year. So if we did school that day, boop, I do a dot, okay? State of Maine, we homeschool in the state of Maine and we have to have 175 days. So this is the easiest way to be like, yes, we did school. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. And then I can just count them all up periodically and see where we're at and make sure that we stay on track. This is homeschool day. This has changed a little bit. Um, this was when I was doing some lesson planning um, to try and kind of plan things out. I am reworking some curriculum for him. He is struggling with the phonics portion. He's in kindergarten. So I'm, um, we use the Abeka Video Online Academy and I'm trying to just kind of adjust a little bit for that. Um, I have an appointments tracker for him. Oops. And then I have his um, login information on that side for school. And this is Graham section. This is my three-year-old. He is the one with um, ASD and these are his appointments. And so this section is a lot more personal. Um, I have a lot of therapy notes. I can show you the back um, from Peanuts Planner Co. This is a very helpful insert, um, but there's just a lot of personal notes here from his therapies. Um, but here <clears throat> is another blank one. And I just kind of keep them all in one place for him, things that I'm keeping track of. And then these are just a couple of my little um, pages. Now we are moving into my lists section with my um, dashboard or tabs that are falling apart. Uh, these are from Hey Planner Girl. Um, I don't remember when, where, but there is just a little productivity card. I pulled it out, laminated it, punched it. And then this is insert resizing guide also from Hey Planner Girl. And the back is common planner sizes. So I like to keep those here. And then we've got um, the growth mindset, reading essentials, and then my reading log for the year. I just finished the fourth wing and I am on the iron flame. And my friend, I think it's her name is Maria. I hope I'm saying it right. And please let me know if I'm not because <laughs> we are um, Instagram buddies and YouTube buddies. Um, but we are both reading this right now and I know there's so many of us who are reading it and oh my gosh, so good. Just finished the first onto the second. Um, and then this is just going to be my reading log and actually my audiobook log, I have to update, but I'll do that during my plan with me. And then for this never ending to be read list is going to be my Bible study page. And I'm working my way through Genesis right now medication tracker, sleep tracker, need to update these, weight tracker, need to update. I printed two different kinds. Um, planner collection, see, I got them printed and they're in here, I just need to fill them in. Um, these were from my personal size, so these are just some of the notes that I wanted to keep um, and not necessarily get rid of. So I transferred them over here resources, Planets Painter Co., online shopping. These were all personal size and I just printed them on my um, Franklin Covey Compact. And it's not the most efficient, but I don't wanna have to redo them all. So, you know, they're fine. Uh, gift list, that's plan with B. These are all gonna be filled out soon. Some miscellaneous trackers that I might need. And these are just four boxes. Um, I think I, I don't know if these are Peanuts Planner Co. or if I just made these. I think I might have made them. I don't know. 
um, and then a couple blank months. And then we're moving into this, which is another one that um, people have been asking for and it's a work in progress. I promise I'm getting to them. I hear you. I'm going as fast as I can uh, to give you an idea. Like I'm not complaining, but I'm up usually between six and eight um, for my boys. And then I'm schooling Watson. We go through that until around 10. Um, and then I'm also juggling Graham and then we're doing activities or lunches or playground or park or library or something and then um, during that time I'm trying to get my planner done for the day and I'm juggling home things and then when I get them down for nap if they nap or quiet play time then I'm trying to update all my work activities answering emails picking up the phone making appointments printing documents <laughs> and counting and invoicing and then, you know, the full day goes. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. But the point is, it's on my list and I'm working on it. But this is essentially um, just curating a planner. Like, I get so many questions. And especially my mom is also getting into planning, which is incredible. I'm so excited. Um, and so she's like, well, where do I start? And I'm like, well, <laughs> let me tell you, there's a thousand things, right? And so I'm trying to like, okay, if I had to start over and I didn't know anything, what would I want to know? And so that's kind of my goal for this is like, you need to prioritize your tasks, right? You've got to develop a planning system, make it functional, make it work for you, know what you need from it um, so that you can figure out what's working. These are some helpful lists, trigger lists, and then the four quadrants of time management, which is based off of that Franklin Covey training, and then goal planning, which is also based off that training. Um, and these are all my inserts that I've created um, so far. So that's all in there and I'm, I'm working it and trying to kind of dial that in so I can get them up for you guys. And um, I think it would be helpful. So we come into my home section. This is the nighttime routine, my minimal planner. Um, and then I just printed that on the back. Elements of a planner, my zone cleaning. I went through and customized this for my home and my family. Um, it's my minimal planner again. And then this is the home maintenance bundle from Paper Test and Hey Planner Girl. I just pulled out a few pieces, not all of it. Um, home inventory for Haru plans for some things. There's a pantry essentials, um, service log, which we did last week on the 8th, I believe. I got my van serviced, oil change, and coolant. They said they fixed my, or gave me new windshield wipers, and they didn't. So I'll we'll have to go back. Service log. And then these are just my grocery guides um, that I filled out, put together. Um, I need to resize them. And then my meal bank for my um, personal rings. That's why I have extra space. Another one of my yearly printables there in the back. And then I have my debt tracker here that I made. Um, my student loan tracker. And I'm filling in... And I'm working on my student loan payments. Oh. Anyway, um, just this laminated money because who doesn't want a $1,000 bill? And check register, which I'll probably take out to be honest because i um, not using it. But I might when I do my budgeting. But I might not. I don't know. Into my work section. Um, I have a work planner now, so really this is just a calendar. I'd like to keep track of days that I did signings and uh, track some income in here. And then I just have some main um, notary notes, my Ron trainings, and things. just a couple of note pages. And that's it. So that's my planner. That is my planner flip. And um, I hope that it was entertaining at the very least <laughs> and um, helpful. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, I'm working on kind of figuring things out and getting a system down that works. And I think I'm approaching it. I think I'm getting there. I'm dialing it in. I'm, I'm getting close. Um, there's just some things, you know, that are still up in the air 
And I think if I had just a little bit more space, it would be a little bit better. Um, but then I move into like the Franklin Covey classic size and I'm like, this is huge. I just can't carry this with me everywhere, every day. So I love the size. I need a little more space. So as long as I can commit to staying in this system and in this planner size and in this, um, yeah, size and, and system, then I will definitely get a custom in the works. And then hopefully I will be flirting with the idea of planner piece. I don't know, I don't know, I don't wanna get ahead of myself, you know, but I don't know, it's like a unicorn, but I'll try and I'm pretty close and I, I think I'm pretty happy with this size. So I hope this was helpful to you and uh, leave me a comment if you liked it and uh, be sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see my next video. Um, follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video, my friends. I hope that you are healthy and happy and starting out the year right. Okay, bye.